Hi, Mr. Myers here. Today we're going to look at concentration, specifically mass volume percent and mass mass percent. You should have with you a copy of these notes that you can fill in. And so I'm going to be working through them as you are as well. So we'll start off, a solution concentration is defined as the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solution. And the concentration, I uh, should say, has a profound effect on the properties of a solution, both physical, so the melting and boiling points, and we're going to see next week how this relates with colligative properties. which we can't quite see on the screen there, so I'll move this over more, uh, as well as chemicals, so solution reactivity. And that um, we would see a bit more in Chem 1 with chemical reactions, but we'll also see solution reactivity uh, in some capacity in this class. And it says that solution concentration can be expressed in many different units. These units would include uh, grams per milliliter when doing percentages. We're going to see... Um, a percent when it's volume by volume or percent mass by mass. We're also going to see one that's big M, which is molarity. And the unit there for molarity, the M, stands for number of moles of solute per liters of solution. And that one we're going to see uh, in the next video tomorrow. So looking at Mass volume percent says the concentration of a solution, so the concentration here is defined as the amount of solute dissolved or dissociated in a specified amount of solution. So this is kind of our general equation for concentration. We have solute divided by the amount of solution, kind of a ratio, if you will. So if we define the amount of solute as the mass of the solute in grams, so and then the amount of solution in volume units, milliliters, concentration can be expressed as the following ratio. We'd say concentration equals grams of solute over milliliters of solution. And I, I don't write solution out completely very often. I usually use this shorthand version. So that's what it says. And following that, this concentration can then be expressed as a percentage by multiplying the ratio above by the factor 100%. And what this results in is the following. A percent concentration is equal to the grams of solute from above over the milliliters of solution times 100%. So this percent concentration, uh, when it's expressed in this way, we call it a mass volume percent or percent m slash v or m over v. Uh, we actually do read it as this thing here, the mass volume percent. So to kind of summarize this, we'd say percent mass volume is equal to this grams of solute over milliliters of solution times 100%. And do realize that your unit here is going to show up as percent grams per milliliter. That would be our unit for this type of scenario. So let's go down to example one to see how this works out. So let's calculate the mass volume percent composition or percent mass volume of 300 milliliters. Notice it's 300 dots, so there are three significant figures here. Of a solution containing 15.0 grams of glucose. So our mass volume percent again is equal to this grams of solute over milliliters of solution times 100 percent. So I'm going to fill in what we know. We have 15 grams of glucose 
divided by the 300 milliliters of the glucose solution times 100%. And this comes out to 5.00% mass volume of glucose. Or using the unit I described above, we could say 5.00% grams per milliliter of glucose, still recognizing the grams is the mass, the milliliters here is that volume. Okay, example two that follows. I indicate the answer here, but why don't you take a few moments here uh, and pause the video and try this one on your own. So pause now. Okay, so now that you're back, I kind of paused for a while on accident, um, but you should work out and get 16.7% grams per milliliter. You would have seen 10 grams of NaCl over 0, 0.0, actually, so 0 0.06 liters would change to 60 milliliters, and we want grams per milliliter, so 60 milliliters times 100%, and that comes out to this answer here of 16.7% grams per milliliter. All right, we're going to go to the next page, which is on the back of your sheet, and look at example three. All right, in example three, it says to calculate the number of grams of sodium chloride in 500 milliliters of a 10% mass volume solution. So in this case, instead of finding the percent, we're just working a different way to find the number of grams. So still, we know our percent mass volume is grams of solute over milliliters of solution times 100%. We know our percent is 10. We don't know the number of grams, and our volume is 500 milliliters. And we've got that times 100% over here. So we'll do some rearranging. Divide both sides by 100, and then multiply both sides by this 500. And when we do that, what we get for x is 50 grams of the sodium chloride. Okay, the next type, uh, before we had mass volume percent, now we're going to see mass mass percent, also written as percent M slash M. And this is most useful for mixtures of solids whose masses are easily obtained. The expression used to calculate this percentage is analogous in form to what we saw with mass volume. And I should also say you may see some examples in the homework where you have a volume volume percent, and it's going to be very similar to what we do with mass. So uh, this equation for the mass, though, we should get that up. It's a percent m over m, so mass mass, and it's equal to the grams of solute over the grams of solution times 100 percent. Okay. So an example for it says calculate the percent mass mass of platinum in a gold ring that contains 14 grams of gold and 4.500 grams of platinum. Now, here's our first question. What's the solute and what's the solvent? Because in order to, to determine the solution, which we had here, we need to know and remember that the solute and solvent, when we add them together, they equal the solution. So recall that the solute is in smaller quantity, so the platinum is your solute, the gold is your solvent. So to set up our equation, we know this percent mass mass is equal to the grams of solute, so 
500 grams of platinum. And our solution goes on bottom, which is the addition of the solute and solvent. So we'd add 4.500 grams and 14 grams and multiply by 100%. To kind of simplify here, this would be 4.5 grams over 18.5 grams times 100%, which calculates out to 24.32% of platinum. Okay, so the platinum in a gold ring, uh, it's 24.32% platinum that's present in that ring. As I said earlier with volume, volume percent, it'd be very similar, uh, but in that case, you would have your volume, so whether it's milliliters or liters, you just have to be consistent. To say it's milliliters of solute over milliliters of solution, realize that this solution here is gonna be the solute in milliliters plus the solvent in milliliters. And again, if you had it in liters, just make sure that both are uh, in the same unit to be consistent. Right? And that's it.